Why do I argue? Of course, too. This is the pinball of Ramses II. Who is the Ramses II? Ramses II, one of the greatest players in the ancient Egyptian history. He held the throne when his age was 34 years old. And he governed Egypt for 67 years. The first thing the king Ramses II did, he completed the, the temple of his father in Abydos, city first. And then he came to here to build the temple for himself. But what the reason? Why Ramses II built the temple in this area, this far area? Not in Aswan, not in Luxor, the center for Amun Ra. Amun Ra, the god of the sun. And the Nubians in that time, they want to be separate from Egypt. They want to make a whole country for themselves. But there is no king let them to do that. Every king or every pharaoh held the throne to fight with the Nubians to be part of Egypt. Also, when Ramses II held the throne, he fought with the Nubians. And then he built the temple for himself with a huge statue, like you see. To tell the Nubians and the king for all of Egypt, upper and lower, especially the upper area, especially this area here. So you can't be separate from Egypt. Okay. So, to make the Nubians African from Ramses II. The second reason, Ramses II make himself as a god in that temple. That's not true for any temple to make himself as a god. So, he went to the temple far from the priestess of Amun-Ra from Luxor. Okay? Because if they hear that, they will kill Ramses II. The third reason, uh, after a lot of fighting between Ramses II and Anubia, he married from a Nubian queen. Her name is Nefertari, not Nefertiti. Nefertiti, the wife of Ignato and the mother for Tutankhamun. He married from Nefertari and then he wanted to make a present for his wife. What he did, he built another temple over there as a present for his Nubian wife. And that temple he did it for the goddess Apu. The goddess Apu is Islam. So, Ramses II built the both of the temple. The first one for himself, the second one for his wife. That's when we start with that one, 1300 BC. So we can say almost 3200 years. This is not the original land or the temple. The original land was labeled under the water. The same thing is happened by Spain. We to the high dam. There was composed the biggest artificial lake in the world, Nasser Lake. Nasser Lake. It's about 500 meters long, 350 in Egypt, 150 in Sudan. So, when the lake started to compose, Egypt sent to UNESCO to move the temples from the lower, lower island, or lower, sorry, land, 60 meters high, 200 meters back. So they cut the temples into pieces, and then they rebuilt the temple inside a big concrete dome. So they make the concrete dome first, and then they rebuilt it, the temple in blocks, like you see. You can see vertical, a lot of vertical and horizontal lines here. Okay. So this is the blocks for the, the temple. With the... They start to move it in 1963. Okay. Yes, that was originally... for the great temple consists of four huge statues from Ramses II during his sitting on his throne 
And here we can see Ramses II wear the symbols for reality. Like what? Like the double crown for Upper and Lower Egypt. Like the secret cobra in his forehead. Like, like the secret beard and the headgear. And when they start to move the temple to here, they didn't fix the head. Why? Because they want to keep the history as they found it. Between the statues of Ramses II, we will find the statue for the god Ra Hor Ahti, the god of the sunrise. Okay? So, it's a collection between two gods. The first one, the sun the god of the sky so we can call him the god of the horizon as well the sky and the sun at the same time when you get to the first home for the great temple you will find it consists of eight statues for Ramses II during his standing like that and we call that the Osiris, Osiris position if you still remind, remember Osiris the god of then, yes. Right. So here, Ramses II is standing like the god of death to make the Nubians afraid when they come to here. Okay. So here we will find Ramses II wear the double crown for Upper and Lower Egypt. By the other side, he wears the crown just for Upper Egypt. So he want to tell the Nubians, I am the king for whole of Egypt, Upper and Lower, especially the upper area, especially this area. By the right wall for the same hole, you will find panorama for Kadesh Battle. Kadesh, this is a city in Syria. Okay? And in the ancient time there were pharaohs in Egypt. In the same time in Syria there were Hittites. The Hittites and the pharaohs they fight together in Kadesh city. Here Ramses II he told us that he won. In Syria also, the king, he told the people that he won. We don't know who the winner in the end. But, there is a certificate outside. That's Ramses II married from the, 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 not the wife, the, uh, the daughter. The daughter of that king. His daughter, not his wife. That means, maybe Ramses II is the winner for the fighting with the guy. Look with me here, the art, or the artist, Make Ramses II was a big size, of course, because he's a king. And in the front of our him, we will find some of his slaves or some of his enemies, right? And the rest of the wall, we will find like a lot of uh, horse carriage, okay? And they fight together here, the wall for the Kaddish battle. Then, by the left wall, for the same hole, you will find three important figures. The first one, Ramses II, on the way back to Egypt after he finished his fighting with the Hittites. And who joining him? Sun disk. It means Amun Ra. The line here, it means the power, the goddess Sekhmet, the goddess of protection. Okay? In the front of our Ramses II, we will find some of his soldiers. They hit some of his enemies here. The second one, here we can see how Ramses II is strong. He can kill two enemies in the same moment. He's standing over one and he killed the second one with his staff. Or with his sword. Spear. Spear. Yeah. The third one, Ramses II during his fighting with the Titans. Look with me here. We will find two armies from Ramses II. It's not a mistake. The first arm for Ramses II himself. The second one for the god who put it at the right moment to help Ramses II during his fight. Here, Ramses II 
African married about 60 ladies, and he had about 200 children. Of course, he had to make an offer for the God who gave him all this power to marry 60 ladies. So, here we will find Ramses II's whole kind of vegetables, latest, okay, and they make an offer for the God Amun Men, the God of fertility. And you will find here something appear, that's uh, the god of fertility for the men. You can imagine. Men. Men, men, men. M E N. A men here. Yeah. Not a men. Okay? Men, that's uh, all different. To keep everything calm. But here, that's not for calm. Okay? Relax. Here, not relax. <laughs> So, why that kind of vegetable? Because they use that kind as a Viagra nowadays. So, when you eat a lot of lettuce, you give a lot of power. Lettuce. But, lettuce. <laughs> when you eat a lot of mint, you give a lot of relaxing. <laughs> okay. Then, here we will find the picture for the Holy of the Holies, the secret room for the temple. And we will find here four statues for four gods. The first one, the same guy outside. Rahul and the god of the sunrise or the god of rise. Okay. The second one, Ramses II himself. Okay. So Ramses II bought himself as a god here between the gods. The third one, Amun Ra. The fourth one, the god Bitah, the god of darkness. And two times every year, the sun shines and the rain is moving spot in the front for those faces. Which date? 22 of October, when Ramses II born. 22 of February, when Ramses II killed the throne. Okay. But the original days down here, 21 of October and 21 of February. When they moved the temple to here, the day changed one day later. Okay. Then, this is the facade for the small temple. The small temple, as I told you built by Ramses II as a present for his wife, Nefertari, and that temple dedicated for the goddess of music, the goddess Hatho. Look with me, how come this is a present? And he bought four statues for himself and just two statues for his wife. Here, Ramses, 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 and just two statues for his wife, Nefertari. Dictator. By the first hall for the the small temple, we will find the pillars here, as I told you yesterday, square. Yesterday, in Philae temple, round. Here, without any decoration of without any crown. <coughs> yesterday, with the lotus and papyrus flowers. Okay? Each pillar here has different gods and something else. Face of lady and Ears of cow, the goddess hot food. Face of lady, ears of cow. As I told you, sometimes the hot food appear like human body. Face of lady, ears of cow. Sometimes appear like like that. Just cow. And I told you yesterday what the link between the cows and the music. Okay. So here we will find. Somebody make an offer for the cow. So can you guess, is this queen or goddess? Queen or queen, goddess? Queen. Queen, why? Making an offering. Offering. And yeah. what else? The uh, cartouche. The cartouche, just one cartouche here. And which queen, especially in this area? Nefertari. 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 Yeah. Nefertari, excellent. So, that Queen Nefertari make an offering, the lotus flowers, for the goddess Hatho, the goddess of the music. Then, here we will find coronation for Nefertari between two goddesses. And both of them, they wear the same crown. Some desk with two horns. How we can know which one Nefertari, which one Hatho, which one Isis? The chair. The chair. So where is the chair here? So, this is <coughs> um, 
ISIS. ISIS, yeah. ISIS. The other one, hot food. Here they wear the same crown. And just one cartouche because this is a meat. Then, we will find also coronation for the King Ramses II between two gods. The first one, Horus, the falcon head, just without any sunless. The second one, the god of wisdom and the god of writing, the god Tooth. Okay, and here we will find Ramses II with the double crown for upper and lower Egypt. The last one, you will explain for me now. It's easy. That figure or this relief inside the small temple. So anything inside the small temple offered for whom? Sorry. Offered for whom? So where is hot for here? On the left. This one? Okay. So this is hot for. In the front of her hair? Huh? Yeah, that would be the king. The king? Yeah. Which Ramses king? The Ramses the second. Behind him? His wife. Nefertari. His wife Nefertari. So both of them, they make a lotus flowers and some perfumes as an offer for the goddess Hatho. And why this is goddess? Because she holds the ankh, the key of life, and the staff of power by the other hand. Okay. About the project to move the temple from down to up here, it takes five years. They start in 1963 till 1968. The cost for the project, $42 million. $42 million in 1963. You can imagine how it's very expensive to move it to So, now it's 7.30, you have like one hour and 15 minutes, and then we will meet together by the cafeteria, as I told you.